Hey guys, welcome to vdchicademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss trigonometric ratios of compound angles. And now let me try to prove this theorem over here. So here for any a comma b belongs to R then prove that sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So in order to prove let us consider LHS sign that is sin a minus b. So sin a minus b can be written in the form of sin a plus of minus b and now it is in the form of sin a plus b and we already know the formula of sin a plus b which is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so now let us replace a with a and b with minus b in the formula so here by replacing we get sin a into cos b that is nothing but minus b here plus cos a into sin b. So here by replacing b with minus b we get here sin of minus b. So here minus b is a negative angle and now we already know the trigonometric formula for negative angle that is cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta and sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta. So now replacing these values we get here sin a into cos of minus b will be equal to cos b plus here sin of minus b will be equal to minus sin b. So we get minus of cos a sin b. So that implies we can write this as sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So this is nothing but the value on the RHS side. So hence we proved that sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. And now let us proceed and discuss an example on this formula. So here the given example is find the value of cos 75 degrees. So 75 can be written as 90 minus 15. So applying cos on both the sides we get cos 75 degrees is equal to cos 90 degrees minus 15 degrees. So here it is in the form of cos 90 degrees minus theta and 90 minus theta lies in first quadrant. So here cos 90 minus theta will be equal to sin theta. So here we get sin 15 and now we can write sin 15 in the form of sin 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So now it is in the form of sin a minus b and now here we will use the formula which we discussed earlier that is sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So by using this formula we can write the expansion of sin 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So here we get sin a that is nothing but sin 45 degrees into cos b which is cos 30 degrees minus cos a that is cos 45 degrees into sin b which is sin 30 degrees. And now let us replace all these ratios with their values. So we already know the value of sin 45 which is 1 by root 2 into the value of cos 30 which is root 3 by 2 minus the value of cos 45 which is 1 by root 2 into the value of sin 30 which is 1 by 2. So that implies here by multiplying we get root 3 divided by 2 root 2 minus 1 into 1 which is 1 by 2 root 2. So here we have the common denominators so we get root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2. So hence this is the value of cos 75 degrees. So this was the proof of the formula sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.